Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch, and welcome to another tutorial on getting started with the Galaxy Gear VR. Uh, today we're going to look at hooking up with the Unreal Engine. This is actually going to complete the series, so because now we've looked at covering using Samsung's own library, uh, the Unity Engine, and now today, Unreal Engine. And I'll save the easiest one for last. So if you're looking for the path of least resistance, by far and away the easiest install process is using the Unreal Engine. Uh, there's still enough gotchas that it makes worth covering it, uh, so let's jump right on in. First off, you need to fire up a reasonably recent copy of Unreal Engine. I believe it's 4.7.3 was the first version that supported VR. Uh, today I'm using 4.10.1. So any of the newest versions in the last, um, well, from this point on basically, any of the, the up-to-date versions of Unreal Engine will uh, get you going. Uh, so just going to fire, wait for this to load quickly, and we will continue on. Alright, so I shall create a new project here. Um, we'll go with C++, doesn't really matter to be honest, uh, by performance wise you're probably not going to want to use uh, blueprints for a restricted device like uh, the Rift, um, sorry like the Galaxy phones. Uh, so first person controller right here we're going to switch this one down to mobile and this one down to scalable and we don't need any of the started content and I'll just throw a random number on the end just in case I've already used it. And just go ahead and let that create. So as I said, this, this setup is actually very, very simple. So uh, we'll run through this fairly quickly as soon as it's done loading. All right. It's taking longer than I thought. I'll just give this a pause while it loads. All right. We are now loaded using the first person uh, shooter template. And now we need to do some configurations. Now it doesn't really matter what template you use, the settings are going to be the same regardless to how you go about things. First thing we need to do is configure the plugins for VR. Uh, so just go to edit and then plugins. And it brings up this menu right here and you want to go down to virtual reality. And make sure that Gear VR and then potentially Oculus Input and Oculus uh, Library are enabled. Uh, there's, no, there's no problem in enabling all of them and you'll notice there's also support down here for uh, a entry level one, which I think would cover Google Cardboard, as well as Steam VR for when it finally ships. So um, just go ahead and set virtual reality, but the key ones we want to make sure is Gear VR, Gear VR is definitely enabled there. Uh, so once that is done, uh, we now need to edit our project settings. So with those enabled, go edit project settings. And here is you've got a couple of dependencies that you have to install before you can continue past this point. You need to have the Android SDK installed and the Android NDK installed. Uh, take those down, just remember where you installed them, and then when you've got the Android SDK installed, also install platform, uh, I think 19 is the minimum, uh, which is KitKat or 4.4, but uh, I went with 21, which is uh, Lollipop or 5.0.1. So I'm not going to cover installing Android, and I'm not going to cover installing the Android NDK, which is the C++ kit. Both of them are fairly straightforward, available from Google. Um, they're pretty much just zip extraction type things to a certain folder, but you need to have those installed before you can continue past this point. So with that done, assuming you have those, we scroll on down here, and we need to make a couple changes here. First off, the Android SDK, and this is where you define all of those things. Oh, sorry, I missed something. You also need to have... Uh, Apache Ant installed as well. Um, so I guess grand total you're going to need to have a Java JDK installed because of these other things depend on it. Android SDK, Android NDK, and Ant. And then you just basically tell it where all of these things are using the Android SDK settings under platform. So once you're done configuring those things, then go on back up to Android itself. And now what you want to do is come down here and enable you know, it's Let's expand this guy. Oops, I missed. Let's expand this guy out a bit. So, a couple settings we want to set. Uh, first one, target SDK. We're going to increment that a great deal. So either 19 or 21 on that one. Um, our minimum is also 19, like so. And then we scroll on down, and the most important setting right here is this guy. Configure the Android manifest for deployment to Gear VR. And go ahead and click that one. And I think we are done for settings. Yep, that's it. So now we're ready to build our app. Now the challenge is it's not going to run on your device unless it's got a certain file there. You need to have an Oculus Rift uh, developer signature file there or the Gear VR is going to fail to run it. 
And in order to get that, uh, we need to get it from the Oculus site. And if you haven't already done so, you're going to have to register at developer.oculusrift.com. So go developer.oculusrift.com, oh, sorry, oculus.com and create an account. Um, completely free, they don't spam you, there's no real fear in doing so. But then once you're done, go in here and click Tools. And Tools has this thing called the Oculus Signature Generator. This is the, the key that will allow it to run on your device. And what we need to do is right here, we pass in the, um, well you can see right here, we pass in the device ID. To get the device ID from the, if, assuming you have the Android SDK installed, just open up a terminal window and change into whatever directory that was installed to. So in my case, it's under D, Dev, Java, Android, SDK. And then from there, you go into Platform Tools, and there's a program called ADB. So just go ADB Devices. And now I need to, well, what it would normally do is spit up what device is there, but my phone is not currently plugged in. I will go get it one second. All right, so I'm just USB plugging in my phone to my computer. Uh, make sure that your phone is set into Android developer mode as well, uh, so you can deploy apps, etc., onto it. If you if you need instructions on how to do that, um, there's a text-based version of this tutorial. I link to some instructions on setting up your Android device for developer mode. Just jump through to that if you need more details. So just check the comments down below. Uh, but ADB devices, and it will give you the key. Uh, or the device ID of your device. Just take that value and paste it into here and click download file. This will generate the key file that we now need. And that will be available in here. So it is called uh, Oculus SIG uh, and then the number uh, identifying your device. So just grab that guy and copy it. And now what we're gonna need to do is bring it into the folder of our, um, our project, sorry, Wrong wording. Uh, in the case of Unreal Engine, you actually only configure it once for the entire engine. So what you need to do is find Unreal Engine, which I believe is, yeah, here. So go into Epic Games and then the version you're running, so 4.10 in my case, and then Engine, and then Build, Android, Java, Assets. And you just dump that file into here. And if you do that, then when you make your build, this file will automatically be included in that Android build. Now keep in mind, however, that now that file will now be included in every Android build you do from build you do from this point on, which is kind of handy as long as you're working on Gear VR apps. And it's a 1K file, so if you forget to delete it, it's not really a huge deal. But um, Unreal is sort of unique in this one. Un um, with the uh, Java version from Samsung and with Unity, in both cases you have to do it on a per project basis. So this is the one that only one that allows you to set that key on a on a tooling level. Okay, so that is done. We are now completely configured. I think I have made all the changes here. Uh, the last thing we want to do before leaving out of here is just go here and click configure now. So we make our settings writable. Uh, and we close this guy out. And we are now ready to build. So we just go file. Uh, package project, uh, and then we are working on Android, and what we are working on is ETC2, it's a compression format, it's ideal for the Samsung devices, and just click that. Now I'm not going to do that because this takes a very, 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 very long time. Uh, an Android build can take 20 minutes, half an hour or more on your machine. So uh, Unreal is very good at a lot of things, but its Android build times are excruciatingly slow. Uh, but that's it. That will generate an APK, an APK file that can be installed to your device. Um, and um, it will also generate... Uh, see if I have... What did I use for this last when I did the text stamp? I don't have it. Okay, it will also generate uh, a pair of bat files which for installing your app APK file if you wish. Um, so, Or you can also go ahead and use the launch tool up here. So what this will do, when I do go ahead and click this, and then select Android, and then this version right here. It will go ahead and build our file, create the APK, and in the same folder where that's saved, it will also create two batch files for installing it. One says no OBB, which means that the data files from your game will not be installed. It will just update the new binaries. The other one will install the full package. And that's it. That is uh, developing for the Oculus Rift on, sorry, the um, Gear VR 
uh, using Unreal Engine. There's a couple more things that you might be interested in. Again, they'll be available in the links below. Um, you can set your device up in developer mode. I've done a video and a text tutorial on doing that, so you don't need to constantly put it into the, uh, the Gear VR. Now, the last thing to be aware of, um, since you're not signed on the Oculus Store, your application won't show up in the Oculus Store. It will actually show up on your device as an application. So what you do is you load your device, you select the newly installed application icon, and then it will say insert into the Oculus device, unless you're running in developer mode, in which case it will just run. At this point, slot it into your Gear VR device and your application will start. And that's it. Uh, that is getting started using uh, Unreal Engine. I hope you enjoyed that. See you all later. Bye.